loves welcome back to my channel my name is Owa Ndukwe and I'm a youtuber based here in Abuja Nigeria okay so for the purpose of this video eh ignore the what's it called ignore the quality of the video one this is already past oh wait what's the time maybe it's past this already yeah it is three minutes past six and it's already getting dark I just came back i did a long vlog and i didn't want to wash off my makeup without you know utilizing the makeup email so i decided to pop up here and continue a video or just do this um old wife's tale video for you guys so i saw excuse me so i saw some videos on i saw some what's it called hey this i do I forget things these days? So I, this old wife tales I picked up from Pinterest. I'll just be, you know, just predict the gender of this child that we are carrying, okay? So this is my A4 paper and this is my, you know, marker. So I'll go ahead. This marker, eh? I've had it since 2017 in my fashion school. Yeah, so... I'll just go ahead and write boy here, girl here. Anyone that passes for which, I'll take one. And then we'll know which gender is winning. So, boy. Girl. So, that's it. So, let me... Let's get right into this video. So if this is your first time seeing this beautiful face, please don't make it your last. Do well to join this beautiful family. And yeah, hi loves, welcome and subscribe to this channel, okay? Please, if you're not subscribing because of anything, just subscribe because I'm pregnant. And we need you people's subscription. We need you people to watch. See, eh? If you know when you're watching my videos, you don't watch the ads. Please stop that bad behavior. They're very, very, very bad and not to be. Oh, let me turn on the AC before he to kill me here. Okay, guys. So I have my phone. This is the old wife tales. Old wife's tales. So we'll just dive right into this video. One is about to rain. So let's just hurry up before they take the light. Number one, I can't find my ring light wire. So i've been battling with it i don't know where to buy oh god she be wearing light was here it would have been better but anyways we move so the first one is um cravings girl food cravings when pregnant with a girl consists of sweet things like chocolates pastries juice and fruits then for boys food cravings when pregnant with a boy tend to be saltier and savory tastes such as meat cheese and other forms of protein oh okay so with this food craving is like do i crave salty things or do i crave sweet foods it's dicey early stage of this pregnancy first trimester i was craving a lot of salty things like sweet things used to repel me like i get irritated whenever I, I i'm taking something sweet or you know but i love cheesy crackers all these salted crackers and all of that those were my go-to tomatoes um cucumber garden egg because of the savory taste they had so for this one since we're still in the early stage but i'll give it away so the boys have it boy one girl new the gender boys have it so hard born oh uh, intense heart so if you have intense heart bone that means you're having a baby girl but if you don't experience much heart bone then you're having a boy do i have heart bone have i had heart bone no so one girl hmm. well let me not rejoice first because the boys are already having it morning sickness if you are experiencing a lot of morning sickness and feel ill you're having a girl if you don't have any morning sickness or just mild nausea nausea I say nausea nausea then it's a boy no morning sickness is there since day one of this pregnancy to your date no morning sickness whatsoever so again the baby boys have it one 
then fourth one linea negra that's that line that's black line now that crosses across that goes across the stomach from the um lower part of the belly to you know up to the chest so so you're welcoming a girl if you're um linea negra nigra nigra starts below your belly button if the linear that's you're having a girl then if the linear negra starts please pardon how i butchered the name because you push it me but if the linear negra starts above your belly it's a boy mm, let me check above your belly below it's a girl mm. okay so this one's the girls have it one new no. then the hair and nails if you notice if you notice your hair and nails feel brittle dry thin hello baby girl that means you're having a baby girl then if you have shiny luscious healthy hair and nails welcome to the world baby boy okay so i've been my skin's been glowing my nails been popping my hair you know so the boys have it this time around so boy one girl new acne that's the sixth one so if you have so if you have oily skin while pregnant is it a boy or girl yeah those pimples are a sign you're having a girl on the other hand no extra pimples and dry skin during pregnancy it means a boy okay i normally have a, an oily skin but i don't have acne to get but throughout this pregnancy so far no acne whatsoever at all so the boys have it then the seventh one pregnancy brain so okay have you heard of pregnancy brain this catch-all terms this catchy this catch-all terms covers those typical pregnancy symptoms that you associate with your brain such as forgetfulness brain fog fatigue clumsiness so does being sleep does feeling sleepy and clumsy while pregnant mean a boy or a girl this old wife tale has the answer you know why i said this forgetfulness because i've been forgetting things a lot shall let's check what the old wife tells is going to tell us whether this old wife will tell us the forgetfulness is as a result of we're having a baby boy or a baby girl so the meat if you're fairly alert and steady on your feet while pregnant hello baby girl feeling tired and a little clumsy is a sign you're having a baby boy have i been feeling tired not tired per se but i'm feeling i've been very clumsy ah, clumsy yes so the boys have it this time around again, again, again. Okay. So baby bump position. If you're carrying high, as in your baby bump sits high on your belly, that's a sign you're having a baby girl. If you're carrying lower in your abdomen, closer to your pelvic bone, it's a little baby prince charming <laughs> okay i don't know what can i see i'm on so which one am i carrying see you do it does the so what are we going to give it is it a boy or a girl or we give them one one because they are it's just at the middle so shall let's give it one and one then anyway Then baby bump shape, the ninth one, baby bump shape. A wide baby bump is a sign you're having a girl. If your bump looks narrow and pop forward, as if you have a basketball under your shirt, it's a little king. <laughs> well, like I said, mine is just pointed. One, one. Feet change. If your feet, Stay the same without any swelling 
hooray it's a girl if you notice swelling in your feet get ready to welcome a baby boy let me check my feet has stayed okay i won't say my feet has stayed the same cause right now it's just one of my foot where my my knockabout so bad that is my actual size right now but the other ones are really extremely tight on me so i'll give it to the boys or do i just one here one here <laughs> oh my god so, breast size number 11 is the breast size the bobby is if your breast gets fuller but remain in proportion to your body shape it's a girl if your breast become very large and heavy especially in contrast to your body in contrast to your body shape you're having a boy my breast is normal it's heavy it's fuller it's it's not extremely big not bigger maybe when we start progressing we'll know so i'll give it to the girls then changes of change change changes to nipples okay so if the color of the areola stays about the same say hello to your baby girl if the areola becomes that kind of color welcome to the world baby girl or model thing is as dark as a charcoal you know charcoal that's how black my areola is now so we give it to the boys hmm. Hmm, okay can't you people leave me alone urine color if your urine is darker or normal shade of yellow you're having a girl if you're raining what is your name? <laughs> if your urine is lighter it's a sign you're having a boy <laughs> okay so when i wake up in the morning and pee my urine is actually darker but when i hold on okay when i wake up in the morning i notice that my urine is actually um when i pee in the morning my urine is actually darker but all through the day whenever i pee my urine is lighter so let me just give boys one girls one so everybody will be happy then weight gain where do you gain weight when pregnant with a girl if the extra pounds appear throughout your body especially in your bottom and thigh it's a girl if most of your faith your weight gain happens in your belly it's a boy i haven't put on weight before i got pregnant i've maintained a particular weight and the last time i checked it was still the same except when oh, okay no he added um extra nine that's let me just say okay if my normal weight was 200 i had maintained that 200 but after the trad that i came back and checked it was not 200.9 kg i don't know if you get what i mean uh-huh so i just gained extra nine grams that's all so the boys have it hmm. oh my why what is happening you now partner's weight gain okay if your partner gains weight while you're pregnant it's a sign you're having a girl if your partner's weight stays about the same it's a boy <laughs> but both weight has remained the same so it's safe to say we'll have an, a baby king. <laughs> so, oh wow. Then the 16th one, baby's heartbeat. If your baby's heart, if your baby fetal heart rate is above, I can't remember, so let's skip that one. 16, sleeping side. If you naturally fall asleep on your right, say hello to the boy, to the girls if you fall asleep on your left side it's a boy okay i love to sleep before pregnancy i've always loved to sleep on my left and i've maintained that position to date so it's safe to say the boys have it one no blood pressure if you had higher blood pressure before you became pregnant get ready for a girl excuse me if you had higher blood pressure before pregnancy get ready for a girl if your blood pressure didn't change before getting pregnant it's a boy okay so i didn't have a high blood pressure my blood pressure has always remained the same so my last antenatal which was over a month which was a month ago 
my blood pressure was still the same about the same so i'll give it to the boys Um, what is Ramsey method? Okay. Which other one? Which other one? Which other one? Which other one? So guys, uh, these other ones are the ones um I will have to test and all of that. But so far so good. This um. So this other one is if your poop pupils okay about the eye test if your poop pupils remain the same hello baby girl if your poop pupils start dilating or does it get bigger say hello to the baby boy see it are they bigger i feel they're normal so i'll give them one one so Then garlic taste. Ew. If you don't smell of garlic after eating, it is a sign you're having a girl. If you smell like garlic, it's a boy, especially if it's sweet. If it sweats out through your pores. Okay, this pregnancy, me and garlic were not even friends at all. So I don't know. I've not had anything that had garlic. I'm very sure that I've not had anything that has garlic throughout this pregnancy. So we'll skip that. So okay other round other one um. okay guys so that's the end of this particular video if this is your first time if you've watched this video up to this point don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up like share comment and i'll see you guys in my next one. Oh no 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 we forgot to call results you see you see forgetfulness i don't they forget Okay, so now let's call results and see the gender that has it. So, I think I'll turn. I'll leave this like this. Okay. So, anyway. Let's call result. So the boys one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So the boys scored sixteen. Then the girls one, two, three, four, five. Six. So six. So with this gender, this old wife's tale prediction, it is safe to say that we're having a baby boy. Mind you, I don't know the gender of this child. All the shopping I've been doing, I've just been buying neutral tone colors, white, ash, gray, nude, neutral tone. I don't even want to know the gender. Quota, quota. Whenever this child comes out and I see it, I'll say, Father Lord, thank you for making me worthy to be the caretaker of this child on earth thank you i don't want to know the gender at all i want him to surprise me with whatever he feels or whatever gender or what gen baby gender he feels is best for me and my husband so thank you so much guys for watching to this very point and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video for now bye